at the end of this session you will be able to create a java servlet using servlet interface generic servlet class and http servlet class servlet is a web component that is deployed in the server to generate a dynamic web page open red dot code ready studio create a new maven project and choose the architecture type apache maven archetype web app still the retrieving archetype archetype process is going on once it retrieves the archetype type then we can apply the filter like maven archetype web app then choose maven archetype web app version 1.4 from apache maven archetype then click on next provide the details of group id and project name in the artifact id i named the project as servlet example and set the package name then finish it creates a directory structure once the build process is completed here we can explore the directory structure in the project explorer now the directory structure is created with an error we can find out the error by using the tab markers so this is related to jsp problem and then jre compiler compilation problem to resolve this find out the jsp file in the directory src main web app so select the file index.jsp and delete it we will learn the jsp concept later as of now just delete the jsp file and then uh, we need to update the compiler version in form.xml file so open the file form.xml find out the tag properties update the maven compiler source and target as 1.8 then we need to add dependency for java servlet api the tag dependencies so find out the dependency detail for java servlet api open your browser go to the website mvnrepository.com then search like java servlet api so this is the link where we can find the dependency detail for java servlet api so click on the link java servlet api choose the latest version 4.0.1 and copy the dependency details and paste it in your form.xml file under the tag dependencies so then save the file form.xml close and update the project by choosing the project root directory right click on it go to the option may one and choose update project then click okay once the project is updated then we can start implementing the servlet concepts here so now the project is updated uh, now i'm going to create a build path for java so choose the directory main right click on the directory main go to the option new then choose folder create a folder in the name java then finish uh, that will be added into the build path source main java if it is not added then choose the directory java right click on it go to the option build path and use this option use as a source folder it will be added to your build path then here we can create a package and a java class files now i'm going to create a package in the build path source main java so right click on the uh, right click on the source path go to the option new then choose package i'm going to create a package like com.servlet then finish it creates a package in the name com.servlet 
then I'm going to create a Java file in this package. So choose the package com.servlet, right click on it, go to the option new class. So we can give the class name. I named the class file as servlet interface demo. So I named the class file as servlet interface demo, then finish. So this is the class file which we created in the name servlet interface demo. So here I'm going to implement the interface servlet. Implements the interface name is servlet. So add the interface from the package Java X servlet. Okay, just start typing two or three letters and then use control space. The list will be pop out there you can select servlet from the interface Java X servlet. So and ensure that the corresponding package is also imported. Then uh, place a cursor on the class name. There you can choose add unimplemented methods. So these are the methods related to servlet lifecycle model. So there you can find the method public void service. So in this method we can create a dynamic web page. So find out the method public void service. Now I'm going to create a dynamic method by using the servlet response object. So the object name is res. Dot call the method set content. Set content type. So value as text HTML. So text slash HTML. So now I'm going to create a dynamic web page. Then in that dynamic web page, I just display the current date and time so that I need to create object for the class date. So view control space, then choose from the package java.util, not from java.sql, just select from the package java.util and the package also will be imported automatically. Okay. Then create object for the class date and initialize the object. So next create object for the class print writer. So this is the class name print writer. Create object and initialize by using the servlet response object. Servlet response object name is res dot call the method get writer. So next by using the object print writer, you can call the method print. So now I'm going to create a dynamic web page so that I am adding the HTML tag. So then I'm going to add yet the tag. In the head section, place a title tag. So edit tag is created. In the edit section, I place the title as servlet interface dim. Next, I'm going to create a body section. In this section, I'm going to display the current date and time. I use the tag h2 servlet created using servlet interface at now I'm going to concatenate the date object b dot to string this is the method Convert the date time in the form of string, then concatenate 
and close the X2 tag. Okay, then close the body section. And we need to close the HTML section. So then we need to close the HTML tag. So now the dynamic web page is created successfully. In that web page, we just print the message as servlet created using servlet interface at the date and time. So next, now the servlet is created successfully. Next, we need to configure the servlet in the file web.xml. So find out the file in the directory src main web app webin. There you can find the file web.xml. So open the file web.xml. Open it in the source view. Create a tag servlet. So inside the servlet tag, create a tag servlet name. Servlet name is servlet interface demo. And then add servlet class. So find out the package. Package name is com dot servlet. So add the package com dot servlet dot the class name is servlet interface demo that you can find here. So then we need to map this servlet. So create a new tag in the name servlet mapping. So inside you need to create a tag for servlet name. Use the same name which you mentioned here, servlet interface demo. Then we need to add URL pattern. So how we can we will call this servlet? So I create a URL pattern to call the servlet servlet interface demo. servlet interface okay, then save the file web.xml now we can deploy so that choose the project root directory servlet example right click on it go to the option run as server before that ensure the server is doesn't have any file in the configured section if anything available in the configured section then remove all finish then you can deploy this project so right click the project root directory go to the option run as run on server because it is a web application then finish now the server is started and uh, once we will get the message in the console deployed uh, the project name servlet example then we can uh, test whether the servlet is yeah now the project is deployed okay along this is the link where we can check the servlet is created or not so in that link just type the url pattern servlet interface this is the url pattern to call the servlet so along with that link so use the url pattern servlet interface then press enter uh, the servlet will be called. So if we will get the message in the browser servlet created using servlet interface at the date and time. Next I'm going to demonstrate how to create a servlet using a generic servlet class. Now we created a servlet by adding the servlet interface. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to create a servlet using generic servlet class.
so I close all those things okay in the build path source main java choose the package com.servlet right click on it go to the option new choose a class and name it as generic servlet demo then finish so the class file is created in the package com.servlet now i'm going to extend the class generic servlet so generic servlet is the class name Okay, once the generic servlet is inherited here by using the extends keyword, then place cursor on the class name generic servlet demo, then choose the option add unimplemented methods. So the method will be added automatically, which is related to the class name generic servlet. Okay, still we have some warning errors. To resolve the warning error, just place cursor on the generic servlet demo, then uh, choose the option add default serial version ID so click on this the default serial version ID will be added okay now the warning error will be resolved now we can create a dynamic web page in the method service how we create a dynamic web page in the previous class servlet interface demo the same so that I open the file servlet interface demo Whatever I did in the method void service, I just copy the content and paste it in this generic servlet demo class in the method public void service. So I just change the title as servlet interface instead of servlet interface, generic class interface. Generic servlet demo and also in the content I am just changing servlet created using generic servlet this is not an interface it is a class servlet created using generic servlet class at date and time so then we need to deploy one more time so choose the tag servers and server right click on it we can use the option clean to undeploy the existing one and deploy the changes we did here. So now we, if you choose the option clean, now you can see that the undeployed the project servlet example.rev then in few minutes we will get the message deployed servlet example.rev. Okay, now we can run this code. So otherwise you can choose the project root directory, go to the option run as run on server. So I click here, choose run on server, then finish. The link will be generated. Okay, we cannot uh, call the servlet generic servlet demo. Call the task file generic servlet demo. Why? Because it is not configured in the web.xml file. Servlet is created, but it is not configured in web.xml file. So open the file web.xml. We need to add the configuration. I just copy paste. I'm changing the servlet name as generic servlet. Generic servlet demo and the package name com.servlet and the class name is generic servlet demo then we need to map so create one more tag servlet mapping servlet name so what you mentioned here, the same name we have to use for mapping and then URL pattern. So I wish to call the servlet like generic servlet. Okay. 
save the file web.xml now go to the link and close we need to deploy one more time then only the changes will be updated in the server so choose the server and uh, use the option clean it automatically undeployed the current project and it deploys new project so it is undeployed immediately you will get a message as deployed then click on the option run you will get a link there i used to call the servlet generic servlet this is the url pattern i defined in web.xml file generic servlet so i mentioned the url pattern generic servlet here if i press enter i will get the content so servlet is created so that i get the message as servlet created using generic servlet class at date and time okay so the same procedure we need to follow to create one more servlet for using http servlet class so now i'm going to demonstrate how to create the servlet using http servlet class so close all those things Uh, choose the package right click on it go to the option new class i named it as http servlet demo then finish the class will be created now i'm going to inherit by using the keyword extends the class name is http servlet so choose http servlet is the class name Okay, then place the cursor on the class name HTTP servlet demo. Then use the option Add default serial version ID to resolve the warning error. So now the warning error will be resolved. Then we need to create a method for the servlet HTTP servlet class. So at add the keyword override at override. method name is public void do get so this is not user dependent one it is the predefined method available in the class http servlet now i'm going to override it if you place the cursor on servlet http servlet there you can see the available methods do get do post do put do delete so we can override any one of this method to create a dynamic web page now i'm going to Override the method do get to create a dynamic web page. So the method name is do get. It has two parameters: HTTP request, HTTP servlet request. So here you can find the interface HTTP servlet request. Create some object, comma. The another object is HTTP servlet response. create object for the second parameter it throws exception servlet exception comma io exception so now we can create a dynamic web page here so just copy and paste the content from any one of the existing servlet file so i just copy the content and paste it in http servlet demo in the method public void do get so then i'm changing the title this is http servlet demo and the content is servlet created using http servlet class the date and time so now we can configure the same in the web.xml file so save this file http servlet demo open the file web.xml add a tag for the newly created servlet and the name is http servlet demo and the class file name is also in the package com.servlet 
http servlet demo is the class name okay then we need to map the servlet here so add a tag servlet mapping servlet name similar to the http servlet demo which we created here just copy and paste it servlet name and then we need to add url pattern so class http servlet then save the file web.xml and i'm going to deploy the project in the jbus server so choose server stack and choose the server right click on it use the option clean it automatically undeploys the current one and deploys the project one more time okay undeployed and deployed successfully now we can run this so click on the option run servlet so it opens the link there the url pattern i created in web.xml is http servlet So the servlet is created using HTTP servlet class along with the date and time. Okay, now I'm going to create a HTML file in the web app directory. So choose the directory web app, go to the option new, I add HTML file and I named it as index.html. So this is the default content available in the file HTML. So I set title as servlet demo. The body tag, I just create the tag a h reference equal to, I wish to call the first servlet. Servlet interface demo is the servlet name. So the build path, we can refer web.xml file the URL pattern to invoke servlet interface. So copy and paste it in the hyperlink reference. Servlet interface. Okay. Next I'm going to add two more hyperlink, hyperlink reference. So this is, I'm going to call generic servlet. And the third hyperlink created to call HTTP servlet demo. So open web.xml file, there you can find out the URL pattern, HTTP servlet, that just copy and paste it here and change it as generic servlet class and this is HTTP servlet class so I would like to add line break So now they apply one more time. You yeah, know the project is deployed successfully. Then click on run option. So it opens the link. By default, it opens the file index.html. Then there I created three hyperlink references to call the three servlets, servlet interface and generic servlet and servlet HTTP servlet. So click on servlet interface, it calls the servlet. Uh, there we get the message servlet created using servlet interface. Then return back, then click on generic servlet class, it invokes the servlet so that we got the message servlet created using generic servlet then HTTP servlet, servlet created using HTTP servlet class.